Okay, this is going to be the first part, probably the easiest part of uh, converting my log splitter engine from gasoline to propane. Um, this part's going to be just getting the carburetor off of the log splitter so I can get it on the table and work on it. Uh, pretty simple to do. Most people have probably done it before. If not, it's real easy. Uh, I've got the gas turned off. The tank on this one's actually empty. I've already drained it. Um, push down on the two tabs. This is a Honda GCV 160, uh, five and a half horsepower engine. Uh, they're pretty much all the same or really similar. Uh, push down on these two tabs, pull the air cleaner cover off, pull the air cleaner off, put those somewhere to the side. Uh, this being a Honda, just about disassemble the whole thing with a 10 millimeter. So uh, 10 millimeter socket, there's three bolts in here. There's two of them that go all the way through the air filter housing and actually through the carb and hold the carb to the engine. There's another one right here at the top right that holds the uh, air filter housing to this little uh, throttle bracket here. That's the short one. Pull it out. Next, you've got the two longer ones that go all the way through the carb. Pull both of those out. There's a small wire right here, tube right here. There's a clip. Mine never stays in the clip. If yours does, just pop it out. Pull those bolts off. And connected right here to the back is going to be a crankcase vent tube, which you'll see once you get these bolts out of the way. To the sun. And as you start to pull this cover off, You'll see right down in here, there's a tube it's connected. It's just a friction fit. Just pop it right off the back. It connects right to the that little uh, adapter right there. Put that out of the way. Here is really simple. You'll see your fuel hose going into the bottom. A pair of needle nose pliers is all you need. You kind of twist that tube to get it loose and then pop it right off. Got the choke linkage, and in the back you've got the throttle linkage, and on the far hole right there, I'm not sure if you can see it or not, there's a little spring that connects in that farthest hole. If you tilt the carburetor up, it lines up those linkages, and you should be able to just kind of wiggle them out and uh, get them disconnected. It takes a little bit of moving around to get them just right. slide out. You've got this little bitty spring here. It's got a real small hook on it. Just lift it out. There's your carburetor. Uh, the reason I'm converting this one to propane is because the carburetor keeps clogging up because it doesn't get used very often. So I'm converting it over to propane so it'll last a little bit longer. And uh, engine will run cleaner. Engine will last longer. And I can let it sit for a while without having to worry about the fuel going bad. If you're not going to do the conversion right away, You'll want to take and either put tape or stuff a rag in it or something here uh, into the intake uh, of the engine so that you don't get bugs and stuff like that in there. But that's basically all there is to removing the carburetor. Putting it back is the exact opposite. Line the linkages up, hook the spring on, put it back in there, feed your bolts through it. Try not to mess up your gaskets. If you do, you can make new gaskets out of, you can go buy cork gasket material at the auto parts house or you can take a 12 pack uh, coke box and, and cut one out. I mean, I've seen people do that. You can do pretty much anything to make a gasket for these things. But uh, that's it for the first part. Like I said, that's the easiest part. The uh, next part will be drilling the carb and uh, getting it set up for propane.